Good morning. Welcome to Baja. I arrived last night, and if you haven't yet, go back and watch vlog number 18 to see how I got here. This morning, I got up with the cows. Look at them all. Just chilling and enjoying and staring right at me. <laughs> Don't you just love that? The way that cows all just stare at you? I don't know why, but this makes me so happy inside. I just love them so much. As a reminder from last vlog, I came in on this road and ended up staying here at a glamping spot and in an Airstream. Not my normal digs, but I received a great offer, so I went for it. This is Eugene, the resident pup and a total lover. And if you're new to this vlog, well, welcome. You'll learn there's a whole lot of dog loving here. And this one is Eugene's brother, the old yeller of the pack. He likes a good butt rub. <laughs> so today I'm packing up and headed out with the idea of camping tonight, but without a clue exactly where I'd land. Beautiful morning here. Cows and the pups and just my morning routine. So nice and peaceful. I seriously, oh my God. Oh, I love these lambs, baby lambs. Well, that was extremely exciting. Now they're over here. <laughs> Clearly, I get way too excited for lambs. So anyway, amazing morning and now i'm gonna take a little ride in wine country and head on towards ensenada and there's some cliffs around there that's supposed to be pretty i want to go check those out and i have no idea where i'll land tonight i think maybe i'll camp we'll see So I rode through the beautiful Valle de Guadalupe full of vineyards and trendy accommodation until eventually I saw the ocean. Look at this guy. Isn't he so amazing? God, I love street performers. All right, made it to Ensenada and it's time for lunch slash breakfast slash brunch. I think it's just like a nice grocery store. I'm gonna have some fruit. Breakfast is lemon, raspberries, and a bunch of oranges. Okay, back on the road. This next leg of the journey takes me out of the city of Ensenada and out onto a rugged little peninsula that's supposed to be full of spectacular views. Specifically, I'm headed to a spot called La Bufadora, which is a natural site where the ocean waters smash against a cliff and create a massive geyser where the water can shoot up to a hundred feet high. Sounds amazing, right? When you get on the peninsula, it's like being on top of the world. Ocean views in all directions. Check out these views, so amazing. In a second here, you'll be able to catch a glimpse of La Bufadora. You see all those people down there? They're all waiting. Poof, there's the water. We'll see a better view from down there in a moment. La Bufadora is actually a very popular site, which I knew, but I did not expect what I was about to encounter. This was the entrance here, and it was jam-packed with stalls and people and all kinds of activity. I had no idea where I was going, so I just continued straight because with a motorcycle, you can really park anywhere. 
But soon it got increasingly more packed and tight until this guy clued me in that I couldn't ride there. It was tricky turning around and he gave me a few pushes. Now, here's where the parking was. Okay, gracias. No voy a ir. Sí, pero mucho tiempo en, en, en la moto. <laughs> gracias, amigo. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Oye, viene bien cargada. Ah, sí. Viene bien cargada. ¿De Ajá. qué parte vienes? Eso es de Nueva York. ¿De allá vienes? Sí. Muy lejos. Sí. ¿Te, ¿Cómo te paseas? Todo bien, todo tranquilo y me encanta todo. Ay, mi hija. Gracias. Finally, I had something to eat. A big cup of pepino, aka cucumber, and chili and lime. So delicious. And then I was off to find a campsite for the night. The pavement was super angled and the bike was so heavy I was struggling to get it upright. And this super kind man came over and helped me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate people like him. So I planned to ride out of here and back up the hill to check out some campsites that were up there, but then I spotted something over to my right. It was a beautiful flat area that looked like a great camping spot, so I went down to check it out. I feel like I found a really good spot, but there's nobody here, and I would like to ask permission. The water is right here. It seems protected from the wind. Check it out. But nobody's here. So, what to do? Oh, here's somebody. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Es una especie para acampar. El camping está cerrado por la pandemia. Ah, ah pero hay, hay otra especie abierta allá y otra. Allá, allá en el campo 7, campo 5. Pero no aquí. No, aquí no. ¿Por qué okay. es muy espacio? Sí, pero está cerrado por la pandemia. Pero lo otro lugar es, es abierto. Porque yo tengo un casa de acampar y el otro es demasiado vientos. Arriba. Ajá, es demasiado vientos. Y aquí es, es más tranquilo por la casa de acampar. Ok. Cálatelo. <laughs> es una propiedad privada aquí. Oh, we have a video camera. Yeah. Okay. Ah, ok. So, yeah. I stopped, I looked for people, I looked all around, and then I thought maybe I find somebody down there. Uh, ok, yeah, ok. No yeah. problem. You have to pay. Ok, I will go now. <laughs> Gracias. Bye. Awesome. They just turned into the biggest sweethearts and they let me camp. I paid 200 pesos to camp, which is on the higher end of camping. Usually it's about 100 pesos with facilities. This has no facilities, but look at this view. I maybe have an hour left of sunlight and well, get my tent set up. Taint set up. When is not just well that's it for today thank you so much for watching and as always please like comment and subscribe to help the channel out thanks so much all my love see you in the next one